Airplane is a developer platform for quickly building rich internal tools for your team. With Airplane, you can create internal admin dashboards, scripts with an interface, automated cron jobs, and multi-step human in the loop workflows. Everything in Airplane can be specified in code. You can use version control, code review, and automatic deployments like you would with normal code. Airplane also includes powerful safety features such as role-based access controls, granular permissions, approval flows, and auditing. In this video, we'll walk through creating an order management dashboard for a fictional company, the Northwind Traders. Airplane makes it really easy to build the logic and UI for these tools, all through simple but extensible code. First, we'll create some tasks. Tasks are the basic building blocks of Airplane. A task is a single business operation, like list customers, or issue refund, or update user's email. Airplane supports various ways of creating tasks, including writing a simple SQL query, fully custom JavaScript or Python, or even bringing your own Docker image. First, we'll create a SQL task that can take in customer IDs and show orders for that customer. To create this task, we'll use the Airplane CLI. We'll run Airplane Tasks init, where we're prompted for details about this task. Let's call this task list orders for customer and specify that should be written in SQL. This creates a SQL file for the query and a YAML file where we can specify configuration. Let's first write our SQL query. This SQL query is a simple select query that selects from our orders table and filters by a customer query arg. Switching over to our YAML file, let's paste in the configuration. You'll notice how we specify query args at line 10. We have a query arg of customer set to the customer ID parameter. We'll go ahead and create a few more tasks to list customers, send order ship date, and unset the order ship date. Now that these tasks are written, we can deploy them to Airplane with a simple command, Airplane Deploy. Once deployed, we can visit the Airplane app and see each task. Airplane has made it easy to take a simple SQL query and produce these internal tools that have inputs, outputs, permissions, notifications, auditing, and more. Next, let's create a view that ties these tasks together. We'll run the CLI command Airplane Views init to create a new view. Let's give it a name of Order Dashboard. We can run Airplane Views Dev to open the Dev server where we see a live preview of this dashboard all running locally on my machine. Let's replace the example code here with a table that lists our customers. Airplane Views are built on React and should be familiar if you've written other React code. With a few simple lines, we can add a title and a table. This table is configured with a task. We've passed in the slug of our list customers task. And by doing this, Airplane will automatically execute the task and fill the table with the task's output. Now, let's allow users to select a customer and see the orders that customer has. We'll add a row slash and prop to the table. And use component state is the React hook we need to read the table state. Here, we're reading the select a row, which contains the customer data and conditionally rendering a second table to fetch the customer's orders. Now, when we refresh the page, we can select a row and see a second table with that customer's orders. Finally, let's allow users to mark an order as shipped, or if the user made a mistake, to unship it. We made these tasks earlier called ship order and unship order that set and unset the ship date respectively. We'll add these to the table by setting them as row actions. Now, when we refresh, we see that each row has two buttons that have been clicked to execute the task. Clicking ship here sets a ship date and clicking unship here clears it. And that's all. We've created a set of tasks in a dashboard to manage order data that anyone on your team can use. Airplane is free to get started. Sign up today and try it yourself.